until the end of July. So, really excited. I'm only working about 20-ish hours a week, so I had a lot of time to explore California. This video is a little scattered, and there's a lot going on, so I'm just here to help fill in the pieces. Also, I got a crazy sunburn that turned into a tan that won't go away. After riding the Caltrain into the city for the very first time, I spent my afternoon walking along the Embarcadero, aka the Eastern Waterfront. My favorite part of Pier 39 is the sea lions. I visited San Francisco after my senior year of high school and I remembered exactly where to find them. Apparently after an earthquake in 1889, a few sea lions just started chilling on the dock and a few years later a group of them had completely taken over and they're still there today. And it's even better because now they're protected by the Marine Mammal Center in San Francisco. Pretty cool. is one of those super touristy places that you have to go see in San Francisco. It's basically just a bunch of gift shops and restaurants and there's a merry-go-round and there's usually street performers and it's pretty cool to see.
We were just walking up to six people thinking of six cars from a shuffled examined pack of playing cars. I'm going to try to get all six of them posed for the photo. That island is Alcatraz, the infamous prison island where people like Al Capone and countless other prisoners stayed. They were basically transferred there when their original prison couldn't handle them. It closed in 1963, but it is now a museum that tourists can go visit, but that's for a different video. Ghirardelli Square has some of the best ice cream I've ever had. They're famous for their ice cream sundaes and I got a salted caramel one. Oh my gosh, it was so good. But it was also like $10. Totally worth it. I finished off my day by eating my ice cream by the water. train station and I ended up all the way to Giardelli Square which took me about three hours because I stopped at Pier 39 and Fisherman's Wharf and the, um, the ferry building. San Francisco is a very cool city. Um, since I'm living only about 30 minutes away I will definitely be coming back multiple times but I think I'm done for the day. So I'm going to get an Uber back to the Caltrain station. So that was my trip to San Francisco, the first of many. I'll be in California until the end of July. So subscribe to this channel to see more of my adventures.